Hello students, how are you today? All right, I hope you are all fine. Are you ready to learn? Very good, you are all ready. So today we will talk about vertebrate animals. Again, vertebrate animals. Please repeat after me, say the word vertebrate animals. Very good. So now before we will start, let's read our vocabulary first. But I want you to listen to me and after we will read the vocabulary all together. Do you understand? Very good. Okay. Please listen. Birds. Duck. Chicken. Fish. Clownfish. Goldfish, amphibians, frog, salamander, reptiles, lizards, turtles, mammals, cow, and dog. Okay, now, please repeat after me. Say the word birds. Very good. Next, duck. Okay, chicken, fish, clownfish, goldfish, amphibians, frog, salamander, reptiles, lizards, turtles, mammals, cow, dog. Okay, very good. So, we will talk about the vertebrate animals. So, what, uh, what you can see on the screen are examples of vertebrate animals. So, what is vertebrate animal? A vertebrate is an animal that has backbone and has skeleton. So, it includes mammals, reptiles, birds fish and amphibians okay again vertebrate animals has backbone and skeleton okay always remember backbone and skeleton okay so i have here the first example of vertebrate is birds okay again birds please repeat after me say the word birds Okay, so what is bird? It, a bird is an animal with wings, feathers, and two legs. So from chickens and crows are also warm-blooded and lay eggs. Again, birds is an animal with wings and two legs. Okay, so these are the examples of birds. The duck and the chicken. Okay, the first picture is duck. The second picture is chicken. Okay, so these are the example of birds. Next is fish. Everybody say the word fish. One more time. Fish. Okay, so a fish is a cold-blooded animal that lives in water, breathes with gills, and usually has fins and scales. Again, fish usually has fins and scales. So, these are the examples of fish. Okay, the first one is clownfish. The second one is goldfish. Again, the first picture is clownfish. And the second picture is goldfish. So, these are the examples of fish. Okay, next, amphibians. Please say the word amphibians. Okay, very good. So, it is any cold-blooded vertebrate of the class amphibia. So, typically living on land but 
breeding in water. Again, amphibians, they live on land but they breed in water. So these are the examples of amphibians. First is frog. The first picture is frog. Okay. The second picture is salamander. Okay. So look at the first picture again. It's frog and the second one is salamander. Okay. So these are the amphibians, amphibian animals. Okay. Next one is reptiles. Again, reptiles. Okay, please see pl please say the word reptiles. Okay, very good. So, reptile is a cold-blooded animal such as snake, lizard, turtle or alligator. So, they breathe air and usually has the skin covered with scales or bony plates. Again, reptiles has the skin covered with scales or bony plates okay so lo look at the skin of the two animals on the screen okay the first example is we have lizard and the second one is turtle okay look at their skin okay so these are the examples of reptiles next is mammal Again, please say the word mammals. Okay, so mammal is any member of the group of vertebrate animals which the young are nourished with milk from special mammary glands of the mother. So, uh, mammals has mammary glands. So, the example of mammals are cow look at the picture and the second one is dog okay so these are the examples of mammals so i have here questions uh i want to know if you really understood the topic so for example i will ask what animal is it so your answer should be it's a or an blank okay so question number two is a or a an blank a vertebrate so your answer should be yes it is or no it isn't it's a okay so let's try this one what animal is it it's a chicken very good Next, question number two. Is a chicken a vertebrate? Yes, it is. Very good. Okay, so next one. Let's try. What animal is it? It's a turtle. Correct. Next question. Is a turtle a vertebrate? Yes, it is. Good job. So, it's your activity time. I want you to answer and read the direction properly. Okay. So, before that, you will going to write your name. Okay. Your number. So, direction. Identify whether the pictures below are birds, mammals, amphibians reptiles or fish okay so you have to draw your answer inside each box okay so the first box is birds second mammals third amphibians fourth reptiles fifth is fish so okay, for example first picture first picture is duck so where where is duck Okay, so birds. Duck belongs to birds. So you have to draw ducks under birds. Do you understand? Okay, so that's all. And 
Thank you. I hope you will study the lesson. Thank you and goodbye.